Hey there, Dev Squad, Manuel here. In this part of the tutorial, we are going to be unwrapping the top portion of our lamp. This is the most important portion because it comes with the pieces that are going to be providing the illumination and are going to contain the emissive textures, which is something we're going to talk about uh, later down the line in this tutorial. So I'm going to go a little bit faster here because I'm applying exactly the same concepts that you saw me uh, applying in the previous video. So if you haven't watched how I unwrap the base of our model, please watch that first. So for this one, I'm just going to add my UV unwrap modifier, open the UV editor, and I'm actually, as you can see, this is very jumbled up and I don't know what is what. So I'm just going to do quick planar and I'm gonna put it aside just to make sure that I don't have anything here. All right, because there are many changes on the angles of this geometry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a lot of the point to point seam. So uh, we're going to make several cuts here. So let's get started with this one. Actually, instead of doing point to point, let's do uh, convert selection. So I just double click to convert that selection and I'm actually going to want to get rid of this piece first. Grow that selection, make it planar. Now we can put it aside. And now what I'm going to do is select here, convert my selection, and I'm going to deselect the very TP top that's right here. And actually before I do anything, I need to make a cut. So we're going to be making a cut over here. Uh, in just to follow um, one single seam across my whole model, what I want to do is see, let's check it out, where are our seams here? Let's actually turn on map seams again. And our seams are here, so that means that I'm going to try to cut everything on this side. Okay, so let's get back to our lamp. And I'm going to create a cut around here. So let's just do that. I'm going to do a selection all around this part. And we're going to convert that selection to a seam. Now I can select the whole thing and do quick planar and quick peel. And if you want to see what's going on, just throw in your texture checker. You can do this one. I Honestly, don't like this one because I don't like to be staring at that many colors. So I choose a checker pattern. But if you prefer to use the other one, feel free. And I'm just going to go to tools, relax, and I'm going to relax that one. All right. It's actually producing a very bizarre looking check your pattern and I'm not very happy with this so what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to divide this into two pieces just to make things easier on me and this is such a small piece that whatever texture resolution we have uh, the seams won't matter that much so I'm just going to do that I'm going to make some cuts over here use the point to point seam And I'm just going to go back to selecting the whole thing, quick planer and quick peel. And because I didn't was not paying attention, I selected this. So make sure you deselect whatever it is that you've already unwrapped. There you go. I'm going to go into element mode and turn this over around like this. And as you can see, that looks a lot better than it was before. So we just may have to do some adjustment over here. Make sure you're not in element mode whenever you are adjusting the vertices. Like that. And we're going to do it on the other piece. Make 
try to select both vertices and there you go okay so as I did before I'm just going to put these out and we're going to continue unwrapping so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create all the seams and then I'll start peeling them off so I'm just going to create a seam around here one around here all the way here I'm actually going to follow the whole thing I'm gonna break it apart on this I want to isolate it so the base is not interfering with my view and that's going to be my general cut now there's another cut that I want to make here where that to selection and the parts where we're going to have the emissives are very particular and thankfully there are only one polygon so we can just select them all this is a very important part of the lamp because it's the part where we're going to be projecting our light out so I'm just going to uh, squash them down by using quick planer and quick peel and just relax them a little bit so there's not much to them because they are one polygon however I want them all facing the same way and you can even to to just save a little bit of UV space what I can do is just put them this way next to each other so that way we'll ut we are utilizing our UV space a little bit more efficiently Okay, now that we've unwrapped that, they go away. And let's continue making our cuts. I'm going to turn off the seams so I know in which places I have not made cuts yet. So one here, one here. And let me see if I'm missing anything else. Okay, so let's just grab this piece in the middle. This is going to be probably a little tricky. Let me unselect these over here. And let's unwrap them by using quick planer and quick peel. All right, that looks a little bit weird, but let's try relaxing it. Okay, and we can actually divide this in two, which is what I'm going to do. So there's not such an oblique angle in between them. So I'm just going to grab these. Another way to divide your UVs is here within the editor, you can just press break. So I'm just going to go around. Click here and now I can break both pieces. And I can relax it and it's going to look a lot better than it was before just because it doesn't have the constraints from the other piece. So let's just put them as vertical as we can. And let's continue unwrapping. So for these surfaces, I have a 90 degree angle. I'm just going to make a cut here, cut here. Another one here, just to make them a little bit better. Okay, so let's get back to our polygon selection, increase that selection, quick planer, quick peel, and that's a perfect strip. Let's make sure we relax it, and as you can see, perfect check a pattern. Sometimes we get that, sometimes we can get something in between. I'll relax it. Relax a little bit more. Okay, this is as good as it's going to get. And let's see, let's do this. And this is already being cut here. So we can just make planar. 
And this particular piece does not need to be cut because if I were to peel it off, it's just not going to go anywhere. It's just going to stay the same way that it is. And these seams are not going to unfold. So what I am going to do is go back to this tool and I'm going to hold alt and get rid of that seam. And make sure that these vertices are welded. So if you need to do a correction like that, what we can do is um, get rid of your seam first, but you'll still have your seam here in the UV editor. So uh, what I would do is I would select, do a rectangular selection because there are two vertices here. And I would click on weld, select its subobject, and I will weld them both. And as you can see, that ring is disappearing. That means they are welding together. And now this is one single piece. So another part of the tutorial. It's really nice to learn how to do use the little mini tools that we have in the UV editor. So again, I'm going to get rid of this seam right here. It's really not necessary. So hold alt and click. There you go. So I'm just going to do a quick planer, quick peel, and try to put this one at the same orientation as the other one. And we have this one right here as well. All right, now for the top part, I'm actually going to get rid of this cut right here. Holding Alt. And we're going to just select the whole thing, make planar, quick peel. There you go. Now we can actually unwrap. This is going to be a nice strip. Well, not as nice as the other one, but uh, it's getting there. And you can also, this one can also be divided into pieces, so it's not just one long strip. So we can just use this button of break. See if they relax a little bit more. They don't. All right, so let's continue with this part. Quick planer and quick peel. It's actually did a kind of good job over here. See, they already look very nice, very little distortion. And this is one of the reasons why I like taking things out of the zero to one space, because every time you do quick planer and quick peel, it'll bring it here. And if you have something here, it will just be interfering with your view. So in this case, the relax actually did a very good job as well. So I'm just going to put this aside and I'm going to check out, make sure that I've unwrapped everything. Everything is around here unwrapped. I'm just checking everything all around. So I'm making sure that this, this is right here. Okay, so everything seems to be fine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select everything. We're going to pack custom again. But in this case, we may do a little bit of manipulation ourselves. So we're going to take some pieces and move them manually. So what we're going to do is we are going to fix these together again. The reason why I want them together is because when I apply the emissive color, it's going to be much easier to apply them to all of them at the same time. And as you can see, I told you that do not, to not waste space. That being said, uh, this is another concept that's really important is the concept of padding. You should always leave a little bit in between the UVs. So as you can see, I left a little space here. And the reason for that is because when we create our textures and we make some of the maps, they 
usually when you're creating textures for games they do get out of the UV a little bit so if they are back to back then whatever is here may go into this one right here and we don't want that it's going to make for um, some weird look so that's why I do a little bit of padding in between of those and the program also does that sometimes it's a little bit too tight okay so I'm going to put these and I'm going to distribute some of the UVs where I think they uh, they can use space a little bit better so I'm just going to put these inside here let's see this piece we can put here and let's take this piece and put it here or we can actually put it down here all right we can just turn this piece and again i'm not going to project anything specific onto these pieces and they're already oblique so i'm just going to keep them oblique and put them both in the same direction same orientation okay always with a little bit of padding and I'm just going to bring these guys over here and remember try to never have overlapping UVs Okay, now given the size of everything here, I think this is as good as it's going to get. So I'm just going to leave this uh, at what it is right now. And that was unwrapping the top of our lamp. Alright, Death Squad, this is the end of this video. In the next video, we are going to be unwrapping the lamps on the sides, the handle, and we're going to put all of our UVs together. Stay creative, and I'll see you in the next video. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.